Hello friends, this video on weather, climate and adaptations part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Weather, Climate, Adaptation to Climate, Polar Regions and Tropical Rainforests. So, weather, climate, these are the terms which are very commonly used by us in our day-to-day -day life, right? Many a times we say that, you know, the weather today is very pleasant. Cool breeze is blowing and, you know, neither very sunny nor very, you know, like uh, wet or moist weather. Sometimes it is very, it is raining heavily. So we say that, oh, it's a rainy day. So you don't feel like going out. Sometimes during summers, it is so tiring. It is so hot outside. It's like scorching heat everywhere you whatever you do you feel tired easily you get a lot of sweat so you you have so much of discomfort so what are these we are talking about sometimes it is a sunny day sometimes it's a rainy day and again we are not comfortable traveling on a rainy day sometimes you have uh, you know storms and winds and these kind of uh, heavy storms and winds, they also cause a lot of discomfort to human beings, plants, as well as other animals. In fact, you know, sometimes the wind is so terrible that it can actually cause huge loss of property. So it, it can also cause uh, huge loss of plants. So many plants get uprooted, the small plants which are not strong enough to bear that storm. So they get uprooted. So, so much of excess of loss also takes place due to these kind of storms. So not only that. So when we are talking about excess of any kind of weather, whether it is excess heat, excess rain, excess wind, so, do you refer that as a good weather? Not really. We say that the weather is bad, the weather is horrible, when it is excess of anything. And what do we call a pleasant weather? So, when we say a pleasant weather, it's like a cool breeze, moderate temperature. So, you are feeling comfortable, you are neither sweating, nor are you like trembling out of cold, nor is it raining to make you feel uncomfortable. So, when everything is just at the right amount that is when we feel that okay so weather is kind of pleasant now i'm pretty sure that a lot of you might be wondering that climate and weather even though these are two different terms so when i say climate and i say weather so they are like two different terms yes of course but a lot of you might be thinking that more or less we use them in the same sense a lot of times we say that, you know, it's a bad climate today. A lot of times people say, oh, it's a bad weather today. But when we, you will learn this lesson, you'll get to know that weather and climate, they are two different things. They, they do not mean the same thing. So what is weather? What is climate? And how does it matter to us if the weather changes? And how do we? When I say we, it is not only about the human beings, it is about all living organisms. How do we adapt to the climate of the place where we live? Now, when it becomes extremely cold, what do we do? We start wearing the woolen clothes so that they can keep us warm. Similarly, when it starts raining, what do we do? We start using raincoats, umbrellas so that they can protect us from rain. So, we also need to adapt ourselves in order to survive in adverse climatic conditions. So, in this lesson, we are not only going to learn what is weather and what is climate, but we, we are also going to see how do we measure what kind of weather it is like I, I'm saying that okay it's raining heavily now when I say heavily how much rain means heavy rain how much mean rain means mild rainfall so we are going to talk about climate and weather in detail and then before concluding the lesson we are also going to see how different living organisms adjust themselves adapt themselves so to survive in different types of places with different climatic conditions now, when I talk about weather, climate, these kind of things, let me give you some common scenarios where you actually uh, experience when what are we talking about. For example, have you ever seen the news? So if, if you uh, listen to the news on your television, if, even if you don't, that's a good habit. So you should start uh, 
seeing the news on TV. So you get a lot of information about what's happening uh, in the world. And there you also have a section where the news reader tells you about the weather forecasts. So uh, she tells you what would be the weather in different places in the coming days. So different places do not have diff similar weather. So different places have different types of weather. For example, uh, sometimes in the news they say that it is likely to rain in Tamil Nadu. So Tamil Nadu is located towards the southern part of India. But at the same time, sometimes you have a news like some rain and snowfall over high reaches of Jammu and Kashmir. So there might it might be raining in Jammu and Kashmir, which is at the northernmost part of India. So at the same time, it might not rain in Tamil Nadu or it might be a very dry weather in places like Goa or Karnataka or Maharashtra. So as you look at different locations, the climate of that place changes. So in some places it is sunny, in some places it is cloudy, somewhere it is raining. So, you know, the weather changes. So, that's what, now, how does this lady or the news reader, how does she know that how the weather is going to be in the coming days in different places? So, it, it, she is just giving you the news, but actually it is all calculated scientifically by the meteorological department. So, there are people who have good knowledge about uh, weather forecasting and there are instruments to measure and to predict how the weather would be in the coming days. So that's how this entire news comes up. So in case you have never uh, seen the weather forecast on your television, please have a look at it. So you will understand it better, you know. So when you are learning something, when you actually do uh, what it is, like if you actually go and yourself watch uh, on your TV, you, you'll say that you will feel better. You'll feel as if you're exploring something new. So that's the weather forecast on your TV. If not television, just try to check your newspaper. So in most of the newspapers, you will see that there is a column somewhere towards the top. Now it changes from the way it is appearing here in this newspaper might change in different newspapers. But at the top, you will see it, it will talk about the temperature of the particular city and how the weather is going to be the next one or two days. So whether it is going to rain or not, what was the maximum temperature throughout the day, what would be the minimum temperature throughout the day. Because see, even in one complete day, early morning the temperature is lower, right? We feel cold early morning. But again, by the time it is afternoon, it's like very sunny and hot, we start feeling hot. So the temperature increases. And again, as uh, the sun sets, as it is evening and the night, again, the temperature starts dropping. So basically in one day itself, you have different temperatures. Sometimes the temperature is less, sometimes the temperature is more. So for every day, there is a minimum temperature and the maximum temperature. So when you know that range, so you can actually know that, okay, how the temperature is going to be throughout the day. So that section is always there in every day's newspaper. So that that's again a place where you see just for example here you see Bangalore today is 30 degrees Celsius. That means today's temperature is 30 degree and if you look at the maximum and the minimum temperature. So the minimum temperature is going to be 21 and the maximum is going to be 32. So this gives you an idea about the climate of your place for that particular day. In fact. If you try to look at a weather forecast in little more detail, sometimes these kind of uh, forecasts also come on your newspapers. So for example, I just picked up this one from uh, today's newspaper. So it, it was the forecast for various cities. So you see here Delhi, the temperature in Delhi is 15.7 degrees Celsius, but the temperature in Kolkata is 28 degrees Celsius. Again, as you're coming down in Mumbai, it is more, Hyderabad, it is even more. So you see, different places do not have the same temperature. So when you look at the no northern part of India, in Delhi, the temperature is very less. So people in Delhi might be feeling quite cold, whereas people in Hyderabad or Chennai, they might not be feeling cold, they might be feeling hot. So this temperature actually tells you about the uh, weather of that particular place. And for every city, here in this table, you see it, it gives the maximum and the minimum temperature for that particular day. For example, this forecast is for a particular day, which is Monday. So on Monday, 
the, all these places for example Ahmedabad will have a maximum temperature of 27 and a minimum temperature of 10. Similarly if you see Jaipur it will have a maximum temperature of 23 and a minimum of 5.8. So for every place the maximum and minimum temperature is given and also the average temperature for that particular day is being given. So these are the places where you actually come across uh, some weather reports. So you can consider them as reports because they are telling you the weather of a particular place. So in this lesson we are going to see what actually is this weather, what causes weather to change because you see with different location weather is changing again at the, in the same place also with time the weather changes. So we will learn all about weather here. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.